of our lives, you know, there's certain things that that maybe we, we we have waited and expected God to do. Hay ciertas cosas que hemos uh, estado an, uh, anticipando que Dios va a hacer. You know what? I've been in ministry almost 22 years. And one of the things, and tengo como 22 años en el ministerio, y, y en estos 22 años he visto Dios hacer grandes cosas. In 22 years, I've seen God do some awesome things. Amen. And yet, in the midst of it, hermana Casillas, en el medio de, de, de lo que hemos visto, amen, I, I can tell you that I have not yet seen God do all that he told me he was going to do in my life and in this ministry. Puedo decir esto, que en 22 años, Marvin, todavía, aunque he visto Dios hacer grandes cosas, Pero no he visto eh, eh, el total en lo que Dios me ha mostrado y hablado mi espíritu que va a ser. Now, now, I want you to understand this. That, 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 does that mean, quiere decir, eso quiere decir que Dios no va a cumplirlo. Does that mean that God is not going to uh, 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 fulfill what he said he was going to do? Amen. In no way or no, no, in, in, in ninguna manera, hermano, yo dudo eso. No way do I doubt that. Because God in the book of Numbers said that he's not a man, that he should lie to us. Amen. Dios no es el hombre para que mienta, ni hijo de hombre para que se arrepienta. Now I want you to see something because uh, God said this. Amen. That, that uh, the things that he promises us, he's going to fulfill, brother Don. Las cosas que Dios te promete. Ahora, alguna de las, una de las cosas que, que yo creo viene a desanimarnos. You have to understand. That, that in the in the eyes of God, really time is it, 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 it means nothing to God. Tiempo no no quiere decir nada a Dios. You know what God said? He said in the Word of God, it says that that one day is like a thousand years in the eyes of God. Un día es como mil años en en los ojos de Dios. So el tiempo de Dios. Everybody say the time. El tiempo de Dios no necesariamente es el tiempo de nosotros. Quizás a veces dure, uh, dure uh, 20 años para cumplirse lo que Dios va a hacer. Maybe it'll take 20 years, maybe it'll take 30 years before God is going to fulfill what he said he would do. But yet in the midst of it, you got to understand that the timing of God, el tiempo de Dios, I was talking to a pastor last night. You know what? And, and, and Brother Gill is a witness of this. Some of you that have been in our ministry for many years and have known me even before we pastored, you know, so, some people say, well, you know what, Pastor? You know, we look at your life and, and, and you drive the big fancy cars and you live in a, in a big fancy house and, and this and that. Well, you know what? If you would understand where we came from, we didn't get here in two years. It's taken time for God to bring us where we're at today. And I really believe this. Oiga, hermano, donde Dios nos ha traído, Marvin, no llegamos aquí de día y noche. Ha sido 20, casi 22 años, it's been about 23 years, or 22 years of us sowing, believing God, going through trials and tribulations, and we're still going through them. But yet in the midst of it, God has proven that he is faithful. Dios ha probado a nosotros que él es fiel. ¿Cuánto dicen gloria a Dios? So I, when I started this last week for a little bit, and, and I want to set up a foundation. Quiero sentar el fundamento. I, I want you to understand something, that in, 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 in your life, if there is no foundation, si no hay fundamento, hermano, you cannot build anything unless there is a foundation. And it's got to be a firm foundation. Tiene que ser un fundamento sólido, hermano. Jesús dijo que el hombre que, que edifica la arena es un hombre necio. The man that builds on sand is a foolish man because what he's building there's a probability, Brother Don, that when the storms come of life, cuando vengan las tormentas de la vida, lo que ha significado sobre la arena no va a permanecer. But you have built on sand, when, 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 when uh, the foolish man built on sand, when you have built on sand, when the storms of life come, Charlie, there's a probability that what you have built on it is not 
going to last. Understand this. Now, let me come back. I was talking about the marriage. If you married because of looks, if you married because of, of whatever other reason, and you didn't marry because you love somebody, understand this. There's a probability that your marriage is going to fail. Because unless, I don't care how fine she is, you're going to find out sooner or later that, that, that some of that fineness is fake. <laughs> You gonna find out in the morning that 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 uh, her breath doesn't always smell like strawberries. <laughs> I mean, know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Hallelujah! You know, Hallelujah. some some of you gonna find out you you ain't ne you ain't you you ain't you ain't never never and I shouldn't be saying something like this because good recording. But but you you ain't never seen you ain't never seen your 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 uh, your, your woman's feet. And one day she's going she to take off her socks after you marry you and go, good Lord. What are those things? Hmm? You're going you to find out when your man takes his shirt off that he's been holding his breath a long time every time he's around you. He did off his shirt, you're going to find out that that chest all went down here. And see, but when you're in love, it really doesn't matter. Cuando estás enamorado, esas cosas no, no, no tienen sentido, Mario, porque te casas con alguien, you marry with somebody because you know, you, you fall in love with the person, not only the looks, but you fall in love with the person. And understand that, that in God, this is so important that you understand this, because unless we build a solid foundation si no edificamos en un, en un fundamento sólido whatever you build and the Bible says that there is no other solid foundation except Christ que no hay otro fundamento sólido sino Cristo so when you build your house your marriage and everything around you on the foundation of Christ you cannot do anything but succeed glory to God <laughs> 